Good afternoon, Cougars. I'm Tierica Brown, and you are watching Cougar Paws on the CBN. And I'm Audrey Panetta. Today is Thursday, January 20th, and we have a new president. Pictures we take for the 9th through 11th graders and faculty and staff will be on Friday, January 27th. We will be a short window of time to have the pictures made, so be sure that you go to the library when you receive a pass. If you were not enrolled during the first week of school, make sure that you see Ms. Bryant no later than Wednesday, January the 25th to get your name on her list. If you were taking pictures that day, you may get an order form from Ms. Bryant or you can order them online. You may also order them online if you took your pictures in the fall. The next Western Hills Book Club will meet on Wednesday, January 25th in the library during lunch. The group will be starting a new book, so now is a good time to join if you're interested. Students, absenteeism is a serious problem. Anyone ranked up five or more unexcused absences in a class last semester lost credit for that course. But it's not too late to make up the time you missed. There will be a Saturday attendance makeup session Saturday, January 28th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Students will make up attendance to block periods. Get the opportunity to make up assignments as well as take advantage of tutoring services. Okay. $3,125 on the low end and up to $50,000 at Yale. This is the amount of money you can save during college if you enroll in dual credit and junior and senior year at Western Hills. Sophomores, please see Mrs. Hiller if you want to save some money in college or if you want to get off campus for your afternoon classes next year. The counselors will begin completing schedules for next year on Monday. You will be assigned an appointment time and need to be prompt for your meeting. Looking to do more, be more next year. Think about joining our media team. Classes in audio visual production can provide a fun time and a link to a career. By entering our audiovisual program, you can find yourself as a sports announcer, as a radio disc jockey, as a television news reporter or anchor, or as a filmmaker. In addition to those opportunities, you can also earn industry certifications that will make you look good in the job market. Tell your counselor that AVP is for you. On this day in history, in 1981, minutes after Ronald Reagan inauguration as the 40th president of the United States, the 52 U.S. captives held at the U.S. Embassy in Tehran, Iran, were released, ending the 444-day Iran hostage crisis. January 20th was also the inauguration day for Franklin Delano Roosevelt. In 1945, FDR was first inaugurated in 1933, and then again in 1937, and again in 1941 and then his fourth time in 1945. That presidency was short-lived through because he died in April of that year, leaving his vice president, Harry S. Truman, to finish out his term. A law was passed in 1951 limiting the number of times a president could be president to two terms. In 1961, John Fitzgerald Kennedy became the first person of the Catholic faith to serve as president. John F. Kennedy had to overcome public concern that he might be overly influenced by his Catholic faith and the Pope. Sadly, Kennedy only served three years before he was assassinated on November 22, 1963 in Dallas. He spent his last night in downtown Fort Worth. In 1968, Richard Nixon began his two-term presidency. In 1974, Richard Nixon became the first U.S. president to resign from office and his successor, Gerald Ford, became the first president to serve as the U.S. president without an election. Ford has been opponent to replace Nixon's original vice president, Spiro Agnew, who resigned as part of a plea deal for income tax invasion. Well, Cougars, that's all we have for you today. I'm Tierica Brown. And I'm Audrey Panetta, wishing you a good day and some good news.